Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're asking the age-old question, which Lost Caverns of Ixalan commander is best in CEDH? This video is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Use code PLAYTOWIN5 at the affiliate link down below for 5% off to help support the show. So we have Cam on Prison Pirates with Breaches. I'm playing Mono Blue Malcolm Turns. Tyler is on Kutzel, basically Yasharn or Dalsum, whatever. And Nate's on Demir Pyle with the Ancient One. I see. I, I, I. I. I'm gonna keep my hand. I'm gonna keep my hand too. Oh yeah. And I'm going last. So Kenzin Crucible of Defiance. I'll cast a Jeweled Lotus. I'll crack the Jeweled Lotus for Breaches, Eager Pillager. Cast a Chrome Mox, pitching this Goblin Engineer here. Dash Ragavan. Go to combat. Nate, I'm gonna come at you for two. And whenever a pirate I control attacks, I'm going to create a treasure token right now. So I get a treasure, then I'll hit you, make another treasure, and get a land. Okay, I can't do anything with that. I'll use these two treasures. <laughs> on a piratic ritual, cast Bergy, and then I will return Ragavan to my hand on my end step and pass. Have fun playing the game, guys. <laughs> this is what I did. Man, this is one of the best starts I ever could have hoped for. If only this Bergy was a blood moon, maybe that would have been the only way this could have been slightly better. However, Bergy's just gonna also let me get more and more mana to keep churning out Ragavan triggers and whatever else I might get here. So, great start. Really happy with how this mono red deck is showing so far. I will draw a card. My turn is way worse i'm gonna play basic island and cast mana vault that's it though pass my turn i will draw off for turn i'm gonna play a mystery reinforce i thought this was a good turn look at this i thought this was a good turn i'm gonna crack this mystery reinforce and get an untapped savannah and i'm gonna cast an esper sentinel <laughs> look at me go i will pass you nate all right untap oh, keep i will draw exotic chromox pitching malevolent malevolent hermit a blue card blue card <laughs> <laughs> i will pass the turn pass the turn yep go to mine are you paying esper sentinel for the chromox no. All right, I'll get a draw. I'm gonna dash Ragavan again. Trigger Bergy, make a red. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack. No more red. No, it stays. It's Bergy. It oh, it's Bergy stays. stays. Yeah. I forgot. Dylan, I'm gonna hit you with breaches. Tyler, I'm gonna come at you with Bergy. And then Nate, I'm gonna come at you with Ragavan. Trigger breaches. I'm going to make a treasure and exile the top card of my library. And I may play it this turn. It's a Jessica's will. I take three. Yep. Also three. Another land. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll cast Jessica's Will, targeting Tyler. Make a Bergy mana. Esper Sentinel trigger. So you will draw a card. I suppose so. Then Bergy will make a red. Jessica's Will, targeting Tyler. Exile the top three. We got Mountain, Scalding Tarn, and Cursed Totem. All right. Well, I guess I'm playing Scalding Tarn, and I'm casting Cursed Totem, and have all of the Mana League <laughs> back up here. At the end of my turn, Ragavan will return to my hand. Go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card urza's saga gets counter pass turn untap off turn. play a busaju in its worst mode cast the carpet of flowers move to second main i will target dylan with carpet of flowers make one green mana there and pay one more and cast the survival of the fittest i'll pass the turn i'm gonna flash in fairy mastermind untap i will draw i'll play land for turn and i will pass turn I'll fetch on your end step then go into 39. Whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna, Whoa, oh, shit. I'm gonna steal one of your lands now. Yeah, you go find yourself a basic mountain. You get to know what's in my hand. Well, we all know one of them's right. It's Ragavan and Wild Sir. He's lying. It's not that. <laughs> 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 All right, go to my turn. Get a draw. I'm going to dash in Ragavan. Bergy mana. Move to combat. Now the way we have to do it is send Breaches over at Nate. Send Bergy over at Tyler. And then Ragavan at Dylan. Breaches triggers. Let's exile the top card of my library. I may play it this turn and make a treasure. Damage. And then you make another. Oh, that's not great. Play the City of Traders. I guess I'll pay two blue and a, oh my God, Ragavan and Breaches together. Wow. Two blue and a red to cast a Narset Parter of Ales. I didn't think I was gonna say those words today. Make a Bergy mana on cast trigger. Cast a professional face breaker. This red deck is really doing something. This red deck is doing something, yeah. I will pass the turn. A little unfortunate that I have this Nambo with my Cursed Totem and professional face breaker here, but I'm just gonna make even more treasures than anyone else is gonna have any, uh, I don't know, maybe just cut it off before I stumbled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're going to put that whole thing in, aren't you? End step, I will flash in Malcolm. Alluring scoundrel. Dirty, rotten scoundrel. Go to my turn. Untap, upkeep, 
Draw a card. Urza Saga goes up to two. Go to combat, Cameron. I will attack you for two. When it deals damage to you, I'll put a chorus counter on it and then draw a card, then discard a card. Okay. Uh, well, you won't draw a card because of Narset Parter avails. But I can discard a card and get my chorus counter. But you can discard a card and get your chorus counter, yes. Born Upon the Wind is gone. Land for turn will be a tapped Mystic Sanctuary. Cast a Mercurial Spell Dancer. Past turn. Untapped to rough turn. Ragavan's back in my hand. Play a Tarnished Citadel as land for turn. First main, I'll have Carpet of Flowers target Dylan and generate two white. I will use that plus one green to cast my commander. Cast the Jeweled Lotus. Cast the Meaningless Rest in Peace. And that's all I got. I'll pass the turn. Upkeep, draw, play my land for turn. Go to combat. I'm going to attack Narset for five. Yeah, that's fine. Narset dies. I'm going to cast Mystic Remora. Uh, I will pay it. And then I'll play a Wish Call Talisman. And I'll pass turn. I'll draw. I'm going to tap City of Traders here, leave a colorless floating, and dash Ragavan. Trigger Bergy. Move to combat. Red mana stays, but my colorless goes away. I will swing Ragavan at Nate. Breaches over at you, Tyler. I'm going to swing Professional Facebreaker over at Dylan. And I'm going to swing Bergy over at you, Nate. I have two Breaches triggers. We'll make a treasure definitely off the Ragavan for breaches and then breaches will also let me exile the top card of my uh fuck i'll take two taking three taking five i make four treasures off of face breaker and ragavan so i have five total treasures and i get a notion thief with three treasures and the red floating for notion thief make another i'm red. gonna force will it you're gonna force of will it pitching windfall i've been holding that oh, windfall yeah. ready to go yeah, like the windfall didn't do anything if the notion thief is there it's not gonna do anything through a notion thief it's not gonna do anything through a Narsa, it's only going to help an empty red hand. I'm like, I hate this card. Yeah. We'll move to end step and we'll return Ragavan. Untap. I don't know if I'm doing anything with this deck, but I'm having fun. <laughs> Draw a card. There's a saga trigger. Tap in response to make a construct and then I'll go sacrifice it in search. I'll position it. Yeah, here you go. You search. Bankrupt. Great. Unfortunately, there's nothing really I can do about the uh, Urza Saga. It sacrificed. Like, I didn't know the Oppo was there when I played it as my land. It, it goes no matter what. I can't stop it. So it's not a May. I'm going to play an island for turn. I'll go to combat. I'm going to send four power of flying and unblockable at Nate. I will draw. I'm going to draw a card. Yep. I'm going to get rid of this Ottawara. That's it. That's all I got. Pass turn. We all know because of Nate that I have this wild magic surge. Is it worth trying to get rid of the Wishclaw Talisman right now? Like, is there anything we can do to stop a potential Thoracle coming down from Nate's turn is my concern with this Wishclaw Talisman. I certainly can. I'm in green-white. Sure. I mean, if you're asking me if I want you to use your removal on something as Nate's, the answer is yes. All right, that's fair. All right, I'm going to pass. I'll, I'll draw for turn. I'll have Carpet of Flowers target Dylan, who has three islands, correct? I'll have that generate white mana, and then I'm going to pay one green to cast a Dalsim. Tadius? Tadius? No, it's, it's Dalsum. We'll, we'll know what it is. If you're good with that, I'm good with that. Go to combat. Cameron, I'm going to attack you with a 3-3, three, three, and Nate, I will attack you with a 1-1. One, one. I'll take three. I'll take one. I will draw two on Dalsum triggers. I will draw a card. You sure may. I'm going to play a Temple Garden tap, cast a Soul Ring, and I will pay one green with the Savannah and cast a Quirion Ranger. One tap. Upkeep. Draw. Are you paying for Mr. Kumar? Yes, sorry. I will cast Mana Crypt. That's percent on trigger. Let me draw. I'll play the Ancient one. I'll pass turn. At least the Ancient One does absolutely nothing right now. Between the Cursed Totem and the Rest in Peace, that thing is never getting turned on. It's never activating. It's just a two-mana commander that's in play. So at least all of the combos that deal with this thing, we don't have to worry about. Yet. Go to mine. Go to draw. Combat. Facebreaker at Dylan. Bergy at Tyler. Breaches at you, Nate. Attack trigger. Breaches is going to make me a treasure. Facebreaker triggers, I will make three more treasures. Put a wildfire on the stack. May I draw a card? You may draw, you may draw, yeah. Cast Pact of Negation, trigger a Mercurial Spell Dancer, and put a, an oil counter on it. Yeah, okay. I didn't like necessarily want that to go off at the same time. Pack trigger, don't forget but my pack I, trigger. I had a really good advantage spot right there, so I figured I'd try it. Nate, show me your mental misstep. I will cast Ragavan. I'm not going to do it. Nice, okay. I will pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. I missed a couple of Bergy triggers. Pay for Pact of Negation. One, two, three, four, five. Draw card. Go to combat. Mercurial Spell Dancer at Tyler. And I will send Malcolm at Cam. Trigger Malcolm. Put a counter on it and looped. 
I will flash in an Orcs Bowmaster. Oh, that's really fucking good. Yeah, Bowmaster is good. So you got an ETB trigger. I'm going to shoot the Query Ranger. And then I'll have my loot. So I will draw. And I'm going to discard this Spell Pierce. It's getting worse and worse. And then I will have a trigger. I'll shoot you, Malcolm. Dead Malcolm. I have a land drop I can play. It'll be City of Traders, and I'll pass my turn. I will untap for raw for turn. I'm going to play a Command Tower as a land for turn. I have a Covered Flowers triggers. I know where to play the land. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to target you, Dylan. And you have three islands. So I will generate three green mana. I'm going to use one green to cast a Delighted Halfling. Move to combat. Nate, I'm going to attack you with a 3-3. And Cameron, I'm going to attack you with a 1-3. I'm declaring no blocks. I will block with my orc. I'll take one. Get a Dulcim trigger. Draw a card. Fairy and orcish. Hit your commander. And I'm going to draw a card. Sure, because it took two already, yeah. And I will cast Kudstil again. This orcish bowmaster is just annoying as fuck. The you bomb. should kill it. I should kill it is what you're saying. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So I will use two treasures and I will cast a Zoyoa's Justice. Paying for Esper Sentinel. May I draw a card? Yes, you may. Bergy trigger. I will Fierce Guardianship. Something, something, Esper Sentinel. You can draw. Sure. I have a trigger. I will kill Ragaman. Well, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Good to resolve my commander. Cast this Collector Oof that I just drew. Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep. I'm going to let the Mr. Primor die. No damage from Mana Crypt. And I'll draw. Land for turn. Risk step. Esper Sentinel trigger. You may draw. I will draw one card. Orcish Bowmaster trigger. I'm going to shoot your oil guy. Mox Opal. Go to combat. I need blockers. Pass. My turn. Get a draw. I will go to combat and attack Tyler with Breaches and Dylan with Professional Facebreaker. Breaches trigger on attack. I will reveal the top card of my library. It is a Captain Lannery Storm. I make two treasures and I will cast Captain Lannery Storm. Trigger Bergy. May I draw a card? You may. These can't be activated. I will pass the turn. Instep. I'll cast Malcolm. I have an extra floating with City Traders. I'll pay for the Rhystic study with it. What the fuck? I don't know. Did I just like forget about the command tax? I'm just like straight up cheating here. I like completely accidentally, but I even took the die off of my commander that signifies pay two extra mana. And I was like, yeah, two. This costs two. That sounds right. That's Boom. how much it is. Yeah. I don't understand why the fuck. I shouldn't be able to do this, but I do. I, I already have edited the game this far, though, so we're... Move past it. Untap. Go to my turn. Lose one off of Mana Vault in my draw. Go to combat step. Are you going to kill my Malcolm right now with your Bowmaster? Are you going to let me loot some more so you can do some more damage no, and draw good. some more cards? Okay. I'm going to go to combat, and I want to send two at Cameron. Take two. On damage, I will put a course counter on it and draw a card. All right, so that's Orkish. And your second draw. Are you going to draw more cards this turn? No. I'm going to discard Animatu's Augury. Cameron, it's going to go at your face. Ow. And I draw a card. Main two, I will cast Baral, Chief of Compliance. And I'll make an extra with City of Traders to pay for Rhystic Study so you can't draw. And pass the turn. I'll untap. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a Winding Canyons, of all things. I will move to combat. Dylan, I'm going to come at you with a 3-3. Three, three. No effects. Take three. I will draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to go one at you. Cast an Aether Swarm Canonist. May I draw a card? You may draw. I will pass the turn. Upkeep. Just going to use this real quick. For Crypt. Take three. Draw for turn. Land for turn. Clear water pathway. I'm going to move to discard. I'm going to discard Dance of the Dead and Reanimate. Now I will pass the turn. Go to my turn. Get a draw. Go to combat. Dylan, I'm going to come at you with Captain Lannery Storm. And Tyler, I'm going to come at you with Breaches, giving me two Breaches triggers. The first Breaches trigger to make your 1-3 commander unable to block this turn. And I will use my second Breaches trigger. You mean Delson, yeah. right? Yes, thank you. Yes, your 1-3 non-commander, but is normally a commander. Second trigger is going to have me exile the top card of my library. I may play it this turn. Captain Lannery Storm will trigger, and I will make an additional treasure. So now I have three of them. I will refuse to block. I will block with my construct. Cool. So these will trade. You'll take damage, so I will make a fourth treasure with Professional Face Breaker. Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw a card, and lose a life from a Mana Vault. Nate, how are we feeling about the Malcolm situation again? Do you want more pings, or are you going to kill my commander? Would you like to kill I'm me? not killing it. I will go to combat. I'm going to send Malcolm at Cameron. Take two. On combat damage, I'll get a chorus counter, and I will draw a card. I'll discard a Mox Opal. I'll have a Bowmaster trigger and a Fairy Master one trigger. I'm going to draw first. Bowmaster will go to six. I'm going to do uh, one to the Aether Swarm. I'll move Prath Priority and go to my end step. I'm going to Vampiric Tutor. There's an Esper Sentinel trigger. Are you paying Esper Sentinel? No. I thought not. Well, I don't have a choice. I want to do one more damage to the Aether Swarm Cannabis. I have a card on top of my library. It is your turn. I also have a card on top of my library. I What's have a card point? on top of my library as well. <laughs> Big fucking deal. Who gives a shit? This card doesn't do shit. <laughs> one tap. I will hey, draw for card. Your tutor sucks. <laughs> <laughs> your tutor sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this card 
<laughs> Day two library. life and the same thing. I also got a car on top of my library. <laughs> yeah, so. big fucking deal. <laughs> you know what else sucks? Magicians. I'm going to play an Ancient Tomb as Lantern Tune. Five mana losing two life. I will cast an Overon Frostfang. May I draw a card? Almighty. You may draw a card. Combat. Nate, I am going to attack you with these four creatures. They all have Death Touch. Death Touch? Block your commander. This is seven, seven. And then take three. Sure. These creatures will trade. I will have three draw triggers off Frostfang and one draw trigger off Dalsum. I am going to have four Orcish Bowmaster triggers. I'm going to also draw a Prairie Mastermind. I'm going to do three damage here, one damage here, and I will draw a card. So we are now going to second main. I will target Dylan and Carpet Flowers myself some mana here. I think we're going to go three white mana. I'm going to use the white mana to cast a Rule of Law. First Risk Study, may I draw a card? Yeah, you may. I'm going to an offer you can't refuse that. No response to that. I will pay for Risk Study this time, and I will cast the Null Rod. I'm going to Force Negation. Hardcasted. Yep, Hardcasting Force Negation. Nothing here. I'm going to move to Clean Up Step. I will discard a Snow Covered Force and a Chrome Mox. Untap. Roll for Crypt. Fine. No damage. Draw for turn. Play my land for turn, Cavern Souls naming. What I'll go for Wizard. I'm going to Guild the Drake. You're Bergy. Oh, yeah, okay. Pass turn. I will go to mine and get a draw. Move to combat. Attack Tyler with Breaches and Dylan with Professional Facebreaker. Breaches will trigger. I will have Orin Frostfang be unable to block this turn. Honestly, the, the not being able to block part feels like it does, like, it did come up a couple times where it was pretty relevant. Yeah, it really helps you stay alive with a bunch of your creatures so that you can continue to get exactly. more Breaches triggers, yeah. Especially because a lot of the pirates and red creatures are already wanting to attack. Like, they're like a Professional Facebreaker where, like, you need to get there yeah. anyway. Right. Ragavan, same kind of deal. So it kind of is another version of card advantage. And it's it? starting to matter. Our life totals are getting pretty low. Yeah. No effects. I will not block. Take three. Take three. Take two. I will make two treasures. Man, my life's going to be great once this fucking click roof's dead. I will play this mountain, getting rid of my city of traders. Then I will pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Mana Vault. I will take a damage. Fucking opposite. Agent. Go to combat. Tyler, I will attack you with my Malcolm for two damage. On uh, trigger, I will get a course counter and loot. Draw a card. I will draw a card and then I'll have an Orcish Bowmaster trigger. I will discard Polluted Delta to exile. One to the collector reef. I will play an island as my land for turn. Uh, hold on. Oh, and I will have a City of Traders uh, trigger. I will float two mana with this trigger and then sacrifice it. I'm going to cast Walk the Aeons. Would you like to buy back? No, I won't. This is Explore, except I have to sacrifice land to do it. May I draw a card? I'll pay for the risk of <laughs> Go to my extra turn. I will draw a card and lose one life from Mana Vault. Go to combat. The Malcolm at Tyler. Trigger, draw a card, then discard a card. The card I discard is Time Stretch. So now Time Stretch is on the stack, and then your triggers can resolve. I'll have two draws and a Orcish Bowmaster. Or are you paying for Rhystic Study? I'll pay for the Rhystic Study. Target. I'm going to target myself for two extra turns after this one. Do so you have one to Malcolm? Sure. And I will draw a single card. Two extra turns after this one. I'm going to play a land for turn. It's Ancient Tomb. I'll just go to my next extra turn. Draw a card, lose life, play a land, cast Malcolm. Take a second extra turn after this. Take another one when I draw from Mana Vault. Ooh, cast a Miracle's Temporal Mastery. Oh, sick. Nice, for one mana. Nice, fucking time walk. And then I'll pay one for the Rhystic Study. I'll take an extra turn after this one. Go to combat, I'm going to attack Tyler. Take it, I get a Chorus, draw. Yep, I have two triggers. And discard Felward Stone. Shoot Malcolm, I'll draw a card. I'll go to my extra turn. I'm gonna draw a card and lose a life to Mana Vault. Play an island, pass turn. I will untap, draw for turn. I would like to move to combat. I'm gonna send a delighted halfling at you, Nate, and I will send this collector oof at you, Dylan. They both have death touch. No effects. Lock with the... Take two. I will draw a card. I will draw a card. And I will deal one damage to Cameron's face. Second main, I'm gonna target Dylan with the carpet of flowers. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll generate six white mana, pay a green, and use exactly all six of the white to cast Kutsu. Ristic. I'm going to pay for it. Deadly Rod, the collector. I have nothing to say about that. Overload a second Ooh. Sacrifice all of my treasures and make six red mana. Lose two life. Hard cast mode, a mind break trap, paying for Ristic study, targeting Cyclonic Rift. I went way, way too early on my treasures. Oh, I have a red. I have two red, actually. I will Cabal's Ritual to get another red. So I'm up three black to Fluster Storm. I have a burger. Pass priority. Rift on the stack. No response. No response. I will float two mana with Salt Ring and I will crack these treasures for a green and a white. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, good still on the stack. I will play two for Soul Ring, the two generic. I will pay two so that you don't draw from Rustic City. Play this Brushlands as land for turn. Cast over on Frostfang and I 
will pay for Rustic today. Survival of the fittest, I am paying for Rustic. Go to discard, discarding two mana dorks, a jeweled lotus, and a green sun of Zenith. My turn. Um, if only with that burgie that I had was a blood moon. Draw Morphic Pool for my land for turn. Gilded Drake. You steal your fr Frostbite. Go to combat. It's all coming at Cameron. How much? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I draw one, two, three, four, five cards. I cast Hallbreaker Horror. I have a red floating. Cast Mana Crypt. What's your Hallbreaker Horror trigger? Gilded Drake. With all that on the stack, I am going to cast a Wild Magic Surge targeting the Hallbreaker Horror. I can't pay for Rhystic Study. Draw card. Yeah. Cool. So it's destroyed, and then you will reveal cards from the top of your library until they reveal a permanent that shares a permanent type with it. That man. Well, because he knew he was going to find another combo piece. Trigger bouncing the Gilded Drake. Uh, yep. That sure does happen. I'm going to cast Anime Dead. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. I get a Burgie trigger. Holbreaker Horror. I'll use my Burgie mana to cast Arcane Signet. What's the Holbreaker Horror trigger? Soul Ring. So I'll respond to that. Cast Chain of Vapor targeting the Holbreaker Horror. And I'm responding to both the triggers. I'll use a Colorless to tutor. I'm going to get the spell to my hand and cast it. I get a Burgie trigger. I'll respond to that Burgie trigger. I'm going to cast Dress Down. Rhystic Study. I'll pay for the Rhystic Study. I'll pay two life. Mental Mystic. I have a dispel trigger too on the hallbreaker. I will target my mental mist up is going to target your chain of vapor. I'm going to have a hallbreaker horror. Yes, I lose to it. Now I'm going to bounce your dress. My dress down spell is bounced to my hand, and you have a burgie mana from your mental misstep. Mental misstep counters my chain of vapor. Yeah, you have a burgie and another hallbreaker horror that was targeting your mox opal. I have another burgie trigger. Your soul ring resolves. You know my hand at this point. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm, you, you guys know, know most of my hand too, and I'm a tapped out, so. I currently do have every free counter spell in the deck, so. <laughs> okay, that is a true statement, so. I'm going to cast mox opal. Targeting mana crypt from. Hallbreaker, and I also have a Burgie trigger. Can I present a loop where I can now make infinite mana on one ring? So I'm gonna draw a card, discard a card, and I'm also gonna mill you guys every time I discard a card. So I'm gonna draw my deck. Cameron's not gonna have a library anymore. And then you try to draw again with Lab Band? Yep. We're dead? And nice. Dead, 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 dead. We did it. Good shit, oh, Nate, man. good job. We were dead a thousand different ways that time. Great job, Nate, putting it together. Demir for the win. You might think this is the only deck out of this pod that might be CEDH viable, but check out the Childwin game that we have coming out in a couple days, and maybe you'll be surprised. You're still probably right if you think that, but still the Childwin uh, shows otherwise. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patrons. Devlin, Mark Cirillo, Alan Button Lowercase, Zachary Nelson, She Doesn't Even Go Here, Joey Aaron, SoCal Acura, Stormageddon, Luke Cook, AJ Alwosebi, Kai Lock, Demon of Rosgris, Uncle Butts, Kwaja A. Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby G Bus. If you'd like to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Thank you so much, Dragon Shield, for supporting the show. Make sure you use our affiliate link and the code Play to win five for 5% 5 off your order down below. Follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Shall we talk about the $50 patrons? They are Tyler, Heckle, LaMile, Welcome Tyler, Malcraft, Focus, Lumia, Shabaha, Tartan, Potit, Cardanus, Sutri's Dad, Mitchell Shepard, Justin, Man, Solo. Pedro! Jacob Michael Ballou! Yon Wild Fang! Thomas Bueno! And David Nelson!